Don't tell me we're switching runways and Prime has got to use the opposite runway. That causes... Showcasing the Hawk's power and maneuverability in all attitudes of flight. Major Fulham is now positioning the A-10 for a pass down the show. From the left, Major Fulham and the Gator Roll. Swing back around and demonstrate a slow roll along the show line to display the hog's precise handling characteristics. As he rolls, you will notice a heritage jungle pace known as the Thud F1 Blow. Major Form is now executing a classic aerobatic maneuver, the Cubanate. It's the A-10's remarkable maneuverability that enables it to perform its close air support mission. Twisting and turning low over the battlefield, the Warthog can operate and deliver devastating firepower under a thousand foot ceiling, unmatched by any comparable fighter. The A-10's turbofan engines add more than just power to its performance. At just over 9,000 pounds of thrust each, they are capable of propelling the A-10 at a top speed of 450 knots. They are also extremely quiet, making the Warthog much harder to hear and aiding a message in achieving the crucial tactical surprise on the battlefield. the weather conditions. Major Fulham just completed that turn in only 1,400 feet. This is less than the size of an average NASCAR racetrack at well over twice the speed of any driver. Let's see, watch the a huge thank you to all the great folks here in Florida. All the great folks have done it fun. We've had an absolute blast flying with you this week. We hope everybody's enjoyed the great weather. It's been fun being here. We can't wait to come back. It will now take Major Fulham about 30 seconds to get back into firing position. Major Fulham is now climbing up for his final attack, where he will simulate dropping 500 pound bombs. These general purpose bombs are useful for cratering airfields or destroying buildings. maneuver. This continuously changing three-dimensional maneuver makes it very difficult for enemy anti-aircraft gunners to track the A-10. The Warthog was built to withstand significant battle damage while having the capability to fly on a single engine and a total loss of hydraulic power. And was even credited with two air-to-air -air kills. Today, the upgraded A-10C continues to set the standard. Can judge me now. Here's to the ones who didn't make it back home. 
These milestones reflect a proud heritage. 